Now we on the challenge five. Back to front, side to side. You will each get three attempts to complete a dunk that has to come from the side of the hoop or from behind. You can either use an assist man on this one or you can do it yourself. Judges will be looking out for creativity and difficulty. This round, somebody gotta get eliminated. At the end of this challenge, the two bottom scores will have to dunk off to see who goes home. Let's take a look at the rankings. Tied for first place, we got Gee, Staples, and Doug Anderson. But at the bottom of our rankings, we got Isaiah Rivera and Michael Purdy. They better bring some heat in this round and score some points. Or at the end of this challenge, one of them is done. So challenging to go off to the side of the backboard, to go behind the backboard. It's just not something that you can jump high and, and take care of. It's timing, this shows skill. So. Um, just make sure it's a clean, simple dunk and uh, do what I need to do to survive in advance. And if I get some money, hey, so be it. This definitely got me out of my comfort zone. But we're going to see. That's what real ones do. We're going to adapt. First up in this round, here goes that man, the champion, Guy Dupuis, a.k.a. the French villain. Gee with his first attempt. Oh! Here we go! Oh. He did not touch the rim. Come on, man. See? Still there you go. Now that's two attempts. That should be three attempts. You've done like four. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Next up, here goes my man Antoine Ball, a.k.a. Southern Hospitality. Oh, okay. that is one there attempt. Ball oh, taking a page from the Staples playbook. Oh, oh, that is two attempts. Final attempt. Here we go. He know that I can only do 360s, so we can go out there and do a 360 and punch it. Next up, all the way from Saginaw, Michigan, here comes that man Chris Staples, aka Everybody Hates Chris. Hey! Chris Staples! Let's get it. Everybody hates Chris! <laughs> Next up, that man Jordan Kill Gannon, AKA the Myth Killer. When I did the armpit dunk, uh, I ended up hitting here on my bicep, and it's got kind of a little dent here. I have to be extra cautious. Looks like Kill Gannon is still dunking with one arm. He That's can't move his shit. The last and final attempt for the myth killer. Ooh. Oh! No good! Jordan Kilgannon cannot make the dunk. I think I went. Terrible. I mean, but whatever. I'm just being careful. Here comes that man, Jonathan Clark, a.k.a. The Jumper. Here 
here we go! Oh! That's his first attempt. Hello! I like it. I like that. Mr. Clock! I was, looking at, I was looking at the rim and I was like, hmm, this is kind of nice. It was a nice little view up there. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Here comes that man, Michael Purdy, a.k.a. the AZ Air Bandit. First attempt is no good. Oh, two attempts. Down to the last attempt. Purdy, here we go. Three attempts. Michael Purdy did not complete his dunk. He needs to do some soul searching. Next up, here goes that man, Doug Anderson, aka Big Time Smasher. Fellas. Oh. Mm. Oh, 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 Doug Anderson gets it done with no help. Oh, oh, oh what I mean, what the hell? How many times am I buying help you today? No, somebody I don't need nobody to pass me the ball. Oh, no, what's your ball for you? What? You don't need what's nobody what's to what's hold the ball for me. What's Doug? What? Doug, you did, right? Hey, that's all you do. Hey, that was one. Yeah, so what? Yeah. So what? Yeah. Finally, finally, finally you need nobody one. to hold finally the ball for me. Here comes that man, Christopher John, aka CJ Champion. Oh, I was going to try to tell you. I was trying to tell you about the slingshot that you CJ Champion. Oh, that is one attempt. CJ got some power, bro. A couple guys did some uh, fantastic things. Doug, he did something we've never seen before, a person thrown off the uh, side of the backboard to himself. So, yeah. so we had to give him a big score for that one. That was that was nice. I had uh, Chris Staples at a 10, first attempt, jumped over oh, two yeah. people, oh, caught it, mm -hmm. did it effortless. I was impressed by that. Jay Clark was close to a 10, but uh, I gave it the 9.5, didn't quite impress as much as the other guys. Ball, Staples, and Doug. You know, that was my top three right there, man. Now we just wrapped up with challenge five, back to front, side to side. This right here is our first elimination round. The two bottom C's gotta have a dunk off to see who remains. But first, let's crown that back to front, side to side fella. 50 20s, that's a stack on the line. And our winner is. Another tie! Staples and Anderson will have to settle it out with a dunk off for the stack. Before we have a dunk off for the cash, we need to check these overall rankings to see who the bottom two dunkers are that need to dunk off for survival. And our bottom two C's that are going head to head to see who gets eliminated. My man Michael Purdy and Isaiah Rivera. Since we're having an elimination dunk off, we're gonna mix it up a little with a dunk generator. The generator will randomly select a dunk challenge that all participants in this dunk off will have to complete and see who gets the money and who gets eliminated. Let's get it. Best swimmer, he puts his hands up already. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, How y'all gonna get dunked? 
Nobody! Mr. Wimbio, that's Wimbio. With this double dunk off, we got Anderson and Staples dunking for the cash. And we got Isaiah Rivera and Michael Purdy dunking for survival. Here we go with that challenge five, money dunk off. I got Doug winning it. He the best windmiller besides me. Everybody in the dunk community, they love to see this. Who's got a better windmill, Doug Anderson or Chris Staples? This is, this is a battle of uh, the Giants, style versus power. Doug Anderson, power, pure power. Chris Staples, excellent style. Let's see who, who uh, comes out on top. First up, here goes that man Chris Staples, AKA Everybody Hates Chris. And we got 30 seconds left on the clock. with the Vince Carter windmill. Staples out here thinking he be Vince Carter. Next up for that money duck off, here go that man Doug Anderson. I'm not scared of no Doug Anderson. Oh. Ooh. Lord, Lord, Lord. Hey, give me some, give me some, give me some. Before we go to the judges to see who walks away with that cash, it's time for that elimination dunk off. First up, here comes that man, Michael Purdy. I think Duncan is like ballet in the air. I just feel like I'm the best in the sense of just like presence, style, unique, timing, and, and just craft. That's what makes me the best. Michael Purdy, it's time to fight for survival. Oh! Next up, here comes that man Isaiah Rivera, AKA the Puerto Rican Airbender. I kind of knew I was gonna get to this level, but I, like, I'm not satisfied. I wanna be the best dunker in the world. Like, I don't care who you are, my goal is to beat you. If I don't beat you, it's okay. I'm gonna improve and get better than you. 30 seconds on the clock. Can you stay alive? Whoa. Isaiah could not finish. I missed. That's all there is to it. Man, we just got through wrapping up challenge five, back to front, side to side. And we had to do that money dunk off. That money goes to... Kalamazoo, Michigan. Doug Anderson, AKA Dougie Fresh. $1,000 richer, now get your asses out of here. Sometimes power beats finesse. This is one of those times. I fell short in a few of them, and to finally get the one, I really want it. Definitely off the dunk that I'm very comfortable with. I'm not sure now we to our first elimination round. 
Both of these guys came in here, did they thing, represented their city, but unfortunately, somebody has to go home. And that person is. Hate to see him go, but representing out of Florida, that man Isaiah Rivera, AKA the Puerto Rican airbender. We appreciate you in the competition, homie. I'll definitely see you soon. Something I, I kind of live by is you either win or you learn. You don't win or lose. The, I was like with 10 of the best dunkers on the planet, like literally the planet. And I learned something from each one of them. Our top two ranking dunkers in Chris Staples and Doug Anderson will be picking their squads to compete in this speed battle. Each dunker on each particular team has to do all four dunks. The backboard dunk, through the legs, windmill, and a 360. The fastest time wins. <laughs> 